Hi guys, so I'm finally doing my vlog sale. I am selling a ton of makeup. I just purged a lot of my makeup uh, collection last, no not last night, a few days ago. So I'm finally able to, th to do this video. I'm going to be selling a ton of lipsticks, um, some eyeshadows, some palettes, some foundations, and some blushes and bronzers. So a ton of stuff. And I'm only going to be selling my lipsticks in bulk. Um, I'm not going to be selling them in as individuals because shipping is going to be at least like three to five dollars. So, yeah. And I will be sanitizing them. So um, a lot of these things are gently used. So I do apologize in advance if they look a little messy. But I will be cleaning them and sanitizing them and everything. And I won't be holding my camera like this because of my last video. I got a lot of I got a lot of bad feedback. So. I will be setting this camera on a tripod. Okay, so first I'm selling these MAC Unused Completely New Eyeshadow Palettes. I, yeah, I don't have any MAC eyeshadows, so these are completely useless for me. I thought that I would, you know, I thought in the future I'd use them, but I just, I don't have interest in MAC eyeshadows. And I'm not much of an eyeshadow girl, so yeah. Um, this is their... 4 compact and this is their 15, the large one. Um, shoot me an email. I will leave my email down below if you guys are interested in anything that I'm selling. Um, I'll send you guys photos of swatches, um, close-up photos and everything. So yeah. Urban Decay Volume 4 I think. It's really irritating how it's not even on the packaging what volume it is. But this is their Book of Shadows. Um, you open it up what it looks like. These are all uh, swatched a few times but this is barely used. I did use the eye eyeliner that came with it and the speaker is broken so I'm not going to be selling that and also I'm going to be taking the USB cord um, but you still will get the mascara and the eyeshadow primer but yeah as you can see barely even used so I'm selling this. Then I'm also selling three foundations, the first being the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation, very popular in the UK. Uh, I have it in the shade Natural Beige. Um, I used this once, <laughs> so a lot of product in here. Oh, and I'm selling that one because it's not my shade. Um, I bought this on a whim, and it was summertime, and I thought it was going to get darker, so I bought a shade that was a little too dark for me, but I ended up not even getting this dark during summer so total fail but this is a great foundation. Laura Mercier Slow Cream Foundation in Sand Beige. I hardly use this. This is a really great foundation though. I just have too many foundations so I guess I don't know I figured someone else would love this. Um, this is I think there's still like about 80 to 90 percent in here so you'll still get a ton of use out of this. Bomb Shelter Tinted Moisturizer SPF 18 by The Bomb. This is in the shade Medium. And again, this is uh, probably like 80% used. 90% used up, but there's still 80% in here. Okay, now for blushes. Laura Geller Baked Cheek Dreams Highlighter and Blush in Neapolitan. This came in a set uh, last year during Christmas time, I think. Um, I hardly got any use out of this. I don't know why, but it's so beautiful. Here, let me just swatch it really quick. Just because. <laughs> so this highlighter is actually really subtle. Um, you can either use this as like a powder for an all-over subtle glow, as you can see there. It's so pretty. And then the pink is like just a peachy pink color. And then this is like a, like a tawny brown shade. It's so pretty. Um... Like I said, I already have too many in my collection, so I don't have any use for this, but so pretty. Two Shania Kashuk blushes. This is in their old packaging, but again, barely used. This one's in Flamingo. This one's in Pink. Beauty Addicts Duo Blush, and uh, this is like a shimmery pink blush, and this is like a really nice, like, deep, deep pink. Uh, and I have it in the shade... Express. L'Oreal Project Runway Limited Edition Blush in Watchful Owls Blush. You get so much product in here. Like 9 grams of product is in? 10 grams, wow. Okay, so you're still getting like 2 years worth of blush in here, so that's a lot. 
Victoria's Secret blush in Fame. Beautiful color. Milani Minerals blush in Mai Tai. This is discontinued, so you can't get it anymore. But it is very pretty. And it also comes with a mirror and um, a brush. Uh, CoverGirl Soft Sable. This is so pretty on olive skin tones. It really gives that nice, like, um, like a a bronzy blush type of look with a little bit of a sheen as well. Wet n Wild Mellow Wine and I'm probably gonna sell these together just because they're from the drugstore and they're pretty cheap. Uh, so these will go together. Fox in a Box Blushes <laughs> by Hard Candy and I'm gonna be selling these together as well. This one's in Sweet and Spicy and this one's in Skinny Dipping. Oh, probably should open them. Yep, barely used. So on to like bronzers. I have a NYX bronzer in Daydreaming of Oahu. How cute is this packaging? It's like a little stone that you find on the beach or something. <laughs> so it comes with a puff, which is unused, and a mirror and the bronzer is right there. It's so pretty. I have too many bronzers, so I didn't really get much use out of it. Plus. The, po the packaging was pretty bulky in my collection, so I was just trying to get rid of things that, I don't know, was causing too much space to be used up. This is a nice bronzer for an all-over type of glow. And then, as well as this one, this is also like a, an all-over shimmery bronzer type of bronzer. This is the Physician's Formula Mineral Glow Pearls in Bronze Pearl. Very, very pretty. These work really great for like summertime when you're trying to boost your summer glow. This is the Lorac Tantalizer. And you open it like this. Ooh. This thing is super shimmery and super bronzy. So if you have more or like deeper skin tones, this would be super pretty on you. Um, Ford and Estee Lauder collection highlighter in Coquilly. I barely used this, but I bought it when I like first started hoarding makeup. <laughs> so that's it right there. I could probably use this really sheerly, but I don't want it to go to waste, so this is going to be sold. And, and then I'm also selling this blush palette um, that I've had in my makeup artist kit. I use the NARS Dan Marie palette more than this, so I'm just going to be selling this. But this is the palette. And like I said, swatches and everything, just email me. I am going to be selling a few, no not a few, a lot of palettes. So the first being this Lorac palette. I don't even know what this is called. I bought this off of Outlook, but it is like the prettiest packaging and it comes with four colors and a mirror. Hi! Barely used. These are baked eyeshadows but highly pigmented. And I have a NYX 10 color eyeshadow palette in the Champagne and Caviar. This was discontinued. You can't get this anymore. But like I said, I'm, I have too many things in my collection so this has to go. But this was used a lot, uh, but there's still like a ton of product left as you can see. And I also have this NARS Duo. This one is called Kuala Lumpur. It comes with like a, a pink with like a golden sheen. And then this beautiful like violet. It's so pretty. Charlotte Ronson Eye Palette in Lake. And it's right there. These are really high pigmented shadows. Um, I bought this palette just for this color, which is kind of similar to Urban Decay YDK. And I don't know, I just really didn't get much use out of this. And like I said, I'm not really an eyeshadow person. Lancome Color Design Eye Quad. That's it right there. Comes with Daylight Color Du Jour. Gaze and Lezard. Those are the colors. And I also have four Revlon 
eyeshadow thingies. Uh, this is a discontinued eye quad, which is not used at all. This is completely new. This is in Silver Fox, and it comes with a burgundy, um, a shimmery white, um, a teal color, and then a gunmetal gray color. And then I also have their Color Stay Eye Quad in Moonlit. I love the colors in here, um, but it's barely used. I think these are discontinued eyeshadows in Vintage Lace and Brushed Copper. Vintage Lace is a matte like highlight color, and um, this is like a, a shimmery peach with... Actually, no, it's like a, a glittery peach. Milani Runway Eyes in Ready to Wear. So that's it. So pretty. And you can use these like wet or dry. They're, um, they're really pretty either, either way that you use them. Lastly, this Rimmel Eye Quad in Dark Signature. And it's just like a, a purple quad. Really pretty. Now on to lipsticks. I have these. I'm going to be selling all of my lipsticks in bulk per brand, like I said in the beginning of the video. So I have these Sally Hansen Color Fast Tint Bombs. I'm not going to read off the names of them because it'll take too long, but this is like a, a red burgundy. Um, the nude color and then just the pink one. Shoot me an email for price quotes. I have two of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This one is um, Abu Dhabi and Istanbul. And these are used like once. Um, yeah, barely used. And then these two are swatched, but I haven't used them. Um, and this one's in Spicy. And this one is in Candyland. And these are the extreme lip creams and I have one of the Audrey oh no <laughs> matte lipstick in Audrey and it's a pink like a cool tone pink and then four of their round lipsticks Heather goddess doll And this one's called Mars. It's a nude. I have uh, some Revlon lipsticks. Two of them are lip butters in Strawberry Shortcake. You get so much product. Sweet Tart, which is more of like a deeper pink. Five of their Super Luscious lipsticks. This is Demure, Rose Dew, which is the Pearl, Primrose, which is a cream, it's like a milky baby pink, Kiss Me Coral, which is a cream, beautiful coral color, Soft Silver Red, which is a pearl, which is like a, a, a strong neon pink type of color. And then I have some Maybelline. I have five of their Sensational lipsticks. And this one is in Blissful Berry. This is actually a new shade. So Blissful Berry. Again, swatches, just email me. Red Revival. A deep red. Coral Gleam. Which is like a pearly type of coral. Warm Me Up, which is like a cult favorite. This is very popular. A nude pink color. Fifth Avenue Fuchsia, which I already have a lot of fuchsias, so this one was barely used. But it's beautiful. And then I have some Super Stay lipsticks, which seriously last so long. These are Pout on Pink. Perpetual Peony. Then I have some CoverGirl lipsticks. I'm also selling five of these. Euphoria. 
which is a plum. Sultry. This is an, a dark nude. Spellbound, which is a dupe from Max All About Town. Girl About Town, sorry. <laughs> Delish, which is used to be one of my favorite nudes. It's great for olive skin tones or like warm undertones. Smitten, which is like a purple, purpley plum. Then I have six Rimmel lipsticks. Two of them are Moisture Renew lipsticks. Red Alert. Pink Chic. Used to be one of my favorites. And then I have a Kate Moss lipstick in number two. Just a fuchsia. Three of her or their lasting finishes. This one's number five. 42 in Just So, I believe. Yeah, Just So. Crush, which is a peach. Caspa, just like a sandalwood beige type of color. Dark nude. Two Milani color statement lipsticks. And this one's Fruit Punch. Black Cherry, which is also like the exact dupe of Revlon Black, Black Cherry. So it's like a dark red or dark plummy red type of color. So I have one of the limited edition Lamattes from L'Oreal. This one's in Matter of Fact, a dark red burgundy. I already have colors like this, so. Ferris Nude. Very popular. Um, the L'Oreal engraving did kind of wear off because I did use this quite a bit, but there's still a lot of product in there. Pure Burgundy. Which is exactly what the name says. Tropical Coral, which was actually one of my favorites back then. A nice juicy coral color. And I'm also going to sell some lip glosses, which I know they're not the most sanitary if they're put in like a doe foot, doe foot applicator type of packaging, but I'm only selling things that I barely used, and I'm a pretty sanitary person. <laughs> First, I'm just going to mention the ones in uh, tubes, because these are um, completely sanitary to use. I have a Victoria's Secret lip gloss, Red Delicious. Four Elf Super Glossy Lip Shines, L'Oreal La Gloss, Clinton Raspberry Splash, and a Lancome Juicy Tube. This is called Miracle. Pixi Lip Booster, which is a nice like natural color. Um, this one's called Tiana, number 12. Yeah, and I will sanitize and clean the applicator, but this is barely used. There's so there's pretty much like all of the product left. Mega Shine by NYX in Perfect, just like a sparkly pink. Kind of reminds me of NARS uh, Super Orgasm. And then a Prestige Skin Loving Minerals lip gloss. This one's in Tender Pink. It's the very last product. This is an Essence Stay With Me gloss. Okay, so there isn't a name on this one, but it's like a magenta color. Barely used. Okay, I think that pretty much completes this video. Pretty awkward that I'm not in front of the camera, but like I said, I will sanitize everything. Shoot me an email if you're interested, and I will shoot you a price quote back um, ASAP. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>